What is product of complex number in polar form? Here's the equation. These equations will not be given to you, so you have to remember these. So if you have R cis theta plus times another R cis theta, you multiply the R's together and you add the thetas together. So if you write this in the R cis form, it will be R1 times R2 cis theta 1 plus theta 2. So you multiply the radius and add the theta when you're multiplying the polar forms. So let's try an example question. So here you're multiplying this polar form to this polar form. So what do you do with the radius? Ready I, actually, 7 times 3, and cis, which is cosine, plus I sine theta, is 35 plus 15. So we write it as 21, cis, 50 degrees. Again, cis is same thing as what? 21, parentheses, cosine, cosine of 50 plus I, Sine of 50. These two are exact same thing. Next question. So it's multiplication again. So what do you do with the R's? You multiply it. Cis. And what do you have for your thetas? 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 2. So it's kind of like the exponential laws, right? The rules for the exponents, when you multiply, you add the exponents. Kind of like that. 3 times 8 is 24. Sis. So how do you add it? You have to find the common denominator to make this 4. You have to multiply 2 and 2, so you get 5 pi over 4. Okay? What if you divide? Then it's division for the radii. And what do you do with the theta? You subtract. So if you write it as a cis, it is R1 over R2 cosine I sine cis, what? The first theta minus whatever you divide it by, you subtract it. Okay? So let's try an example question. So it is division. So what do you do with the radii? 6 divided by root 3. 6 divided by root 3, guys. And sis, you have 5 pi over 4 minus pi over 6. Now you're simplifying it. What's 6 over root 3? Rationalize it. You multiply by root 3 and root 3. So I get 6 root 3 over, what's root 3 times root 3? Three? 3, so you get 2 root 3. 2 root 3, sis, what's the least common multiples of 4 and 6? You mean 12? 12. So here you multiply by 3 and 3, so 15 pi minus to 6, to 12, you multiply by 2 and 2, so 2 pi. So you get 2 thirds, cis of 13 pi over 12. 
So now we are expressing the quotient Z1 divided by Z2 in standard form. What is standard form? No, rectangular form. Rectangular form is X plus Y, I in complex numbers. So we are dividing it. So what do we do with the R's? Divide it. Sis, 135, what do we do with the thetas? Subtract if, when it's division. So it's 135 minus 300 degrees. So I get root 2 over 3. 2 divided by 6 is 3 in denominator. Sis of what? Negative 1. 65 degrees. Are we done? That's a polar form, but now they're asking you to write in a rectangular form. So this is your r and theta, so draw it first. So when you draw it, I get negative 165 will be here. This is 15, right? When you go negative, 165. Is that off of a unit circle? Yes. No. So you have to use a calculator. 15 or not on the unit circle. So what is your x? x equals to r cosine theta, which is negative 165. And make sure it's on the third quadrant, so your x must be negative and y must be negative 2. And y equals to root 2 over 3, sine of negative 165. And yeah, this one, we have to use a calculator. We cannot evaluate 15 degrees without a calculator. So I get, make sure your mode is in degrees. So I do root 2 divided by 3 times cosine of 165. Oh. Yeah, cosine of, yeah, negative 165 times, so it seems like it's giving you the right angle, right angle, right? Times root 2 over 3. So I get negative 0 0.455. Negative 0 0.455. What is y? 165. So it gave you a right angle, right? Right value because it's negative. So on the third quadrant, so both x and y must be negative. So you multiply with the radius root 2 and divide by 3. So you get negative 0.122. Negative 0.122. So how do you write in a rectangular form? It is x, negative 0.455, plus y, which is negative, so negative 0.122i.